there are community spaces and then there's lots of people squirreled away behind different doors. So it was a stately home and then it was uh, a nunnery and then a friary. And so there's a chapel and a massive kitchen, washrooms, kitchens, uh, meeting rooms, guest rooms. Yeah, people live, have like one or two rooms each. Some have more, some have less. <coughs> Work is always contentious here, yeah, wherever you are. The idea is 15 hours, but um, what is that work? Are you driving a tractor? Are you cleaning a toilet? Are you cooking dinner? Are you mowing the lawn? We do have difficult times here. We do have clashes of personality and sometimes it can cause issues in the community because there's an atmosphere. And um, well, there's some difficulty over the fact that some people here feel like not everyone does their hours here um, and, and people aren't working as hard and that that can cause issues and that can cause people to not talk to each other sometimes but we have we, we have been working really hard on um, trying to improve our communication between each other. If you have a religious community like has lived in this in the building that's quite easy because you've got a hierarchy and you've got a shared belief. And we don't, we have an ethos, uh, like uh, how we'd like to be, but I think it's the land is something shared. So we all like being out in the land. Um, so no dogma, that's what's great. We don't all pray to whichever God. Uh, we don't all believe in yoga. There's not, there's not like we believe in dot, dot, dot. And for me, that's important because I don't want to live with the clones of me. I mean, I'm at the stage in my life where I worry about young people and about their future because the planet at the moment is not sustainable at all. You know, hugely increasing population, limited resources, um, increased intensification of farming. I think things at the moment are very unsustainable and I think we we try in a very limited way to live sustainably. I think we could do much better. Do you want to hold him and I'll, I'll... Um, but I, to me, sustainability is very, very important. And so I, find, I feel quite excited when I find young people who feel the same. And then I think, you know, maybe the planet has still got a future. I think we're a quirky little part, really. I think you'd have to go a lot further to make a real impact. I think, I think some of us here make a, an impact in our commitment in the wider scheme. But when you, when you stop seeing a plastic bag and when you see us really truly committing ourselves to changing things globally, then I believe we'd be making an impact. I don't think we do a lot of that myself or enough. So I visited eight communities before I decided which community I was going to choose to live in. So, um, yeah. And when I went to visit my first community, I met my child's father and we both wanted to live in a community and we've both gone looking for a community separately and then we decided to look for a community together. When I had my son, when I, I didn't live at a community, it sort of intensified my feminist perspectives. 
because motherhood does not seem to be valued. And I mean, I don't know what the statistics are, but not that long ago, it used to be 86% of domestic tasks are still being done by women. So, um, so when I came here and I didn't, I just have to do three hours in the kitchen. When I was in my thirties, I was involved with the Green Party. I was involved with this anarchist group. Um, I was also in a band and I think, you know, if I had to live a, a full-on working life with all the domestic stuff, there's no way I would be doing those, those kind of things. No way. Just, you know. The other thing is, I, you know, I love being outside and I like being connected. So this food is going to end up on people's plates that I live with and that I share my life with. So, you know. There's more to it than just this task. The ecological thing for me is, is how I feel as well. So I can't be down here for too long before someone kind of drags you out of it just by you. You, you kind of need to eat and interact with people and you kind of get the kids tugging at you, saying, come play on the trampoline. It's, so you, just, you end up, sustain, sustainability for me is also personal life. I've been doing this now for 17 years and I just think, you know, is, is my belief system of how I think people should live and how I live enough to sustain me to keep doing this? I think you just have to really believe in it, and you get it. You know, you're, it, you're, it's a wholesome lifestyle. You know, it's very rewarding. It's just, it's just because I see the bigger picture of what I'm doing, I, I carry on doing it.